The purpose of this video is to provide a clinical applications overview of ECG gating using Philips Expression MR patient monitors. We will review methods to achieve ECG gating, equipment needed for ECG gating, setting up ECG gating, and Expression MR monitor ECG menu options available for gating. The gating feature on the Expression MR400 and the Expression MR200 outputs data and discrete signals to the MR scanner system, allowing the scanner system to use those signals and data to precisely control the times that it collects MR image data from the patient. Using the gating feature on the Expression MR monitor allows for simultaneous monitoring and scanning synchronization with the use of one set of electrodes, modules, and lead wires on the patient. Reducing the number of wires and electrodes connected to the patient may reduce the patient's risk for burns in the MRI and may be more convenient for workflow. The gating feature allows for MRI triggering and synchronization based on the measured ECG or SpO2 signal. For the purpose of this video, we will discuss ECG gating only. We will review methods to achieve ECG gating, necessary equipment, setting up ECG gating, and Expression MR Monitor ECG menu options available for ECG gating. There are two types of data output provided by the gating feature of the MR200 and MR400, analog waveforms and gating pulses. Analog waveforms represent the actual ECG waveform collected from monitored parameters. Digital gating pulses are discrete electronic signals that indicate that some physiological event associated with the monitor parameter has occurred. Your MRI system will determine which type of data output your scanner system receives. ECG gating can be achieved three ways with Expression MR monitors, direct wired connection, indirect wired connection, or wireless connection. With a direct wired connection, the Expression MR monitor will connect directly to the external gating connection port on the MRI system via a gating cable. For direct wired connection ECG gating, Connect one end of the gating cable to the gating connector. The other end of the cable will connect to the external gating connection port on the MRI system. Tip. The MR tech may need to set the MRI system to source triggering from the external connection, sometimes called third-party triggering. Refer to your MRI system's instruction for use for guidance on obtaining an external trigger source. For indirect wired connection gating, the Expression MR monitor will connect to the MRI system's ECG lead wires using a universal vector gating interface, also known as a universal gating cable. Be sure to use MR safe tools to remove and replace the protective cover, or remove and replace the cover outside of the MR room. After removing the universal gating cable box's protective cover, connect the MRI system's lead wires to the corresponding connection point on the cable box. Once connected, the MRI system will receive the ECG signal through its lead wires connected to the cable box. Replace the plastic cover after connecting to prevent accidental touching of the metal connections. Be sure to use MR safe tools to remove and replace the protective cover, or remove and replace the cover outside of the MR room. Note, lead wire colors will vary depending on the country your monitor is used in. Note, if the MR system's ECG module connects to the scanner via a cable, connect that cable to the MR scanner for the MRI system to receive the ECG signal. When using direct wired and indirect wired ECG gating, it may be helpful to adjust the ECG filter mode to produce the best ECG signal. On the MR400, Advanced 1 filter is the recommended filter for cardiac gating, followed by Advanced 2 filter. On the MR200, Cardiac filter in the lead 2 is the recommended filter, followed by advanced filter. Finally, wireless connection gating allows for connection with Philips MRI systems by using the Expression MR monitor ECG module for both monitoring and wireless gating. Wireless gating is available with the MR200 on all Philips magnets with wireless gating capabilities. You may also use wireless gating with the MR200 and Canon, formerly Toshiba, 
or Fujifilm, formerly Hitachi, MRI systems with Philips gating boxes installed internally into the scanner. Wireless gating with the MR400 is available on Philips Ingenia MRI models like Prodiva, Elysian, Ambition, and Evolution MRI systems, as well as with Philips Ingenia and Achieva MRI systems with software R5.6.1 or higher. To set up for wireless connection gating, you will want to confirm that the scanner is communicating with the correct wireless ECG modules. On the Philips scanner, under Physiology Properties, select the wireless modules that will be used based on the pictures provided. Select the top set of black modules when using the MR200 and the bottom set of green-blue modules for the MR400. Then select the network that the monitor and wireless modules are set to. To have a properly working system, the wireless modules and MRI scanner system must set to the same network channel. Note, for Philips MRI systems not yet updated to support MR400 wireless gating, use indirect wired connection gating with the universal gating cable. There are a few special considerations for wireless gating. First, the MR200 and MR400 have a magnet control feature found in the ECG menu. When magnet control is set to auto and wireless gating is initiated, the Philips MRI system filters the ECG and transmits that filtered waveform and heart rate back to the patient monitor for display. Note, with magnet control set to auto, filter mode and T-wave suppression are disabled. Also, when the heart rate source is set to ECG, magnet filter is displayed, meaning the heart rate displayed by the MR400 is derived from the MR scanner system. On the MR200, when magnet control is set to auto, magnet control adaptive is displayed on the screen. Auto magnet control is the default setting for wireless gating on the MR200 and MR400. If there is excessive artifact in the ECG signal and magnet control is not producing usable triggering points, you can try using the Expression MR monitor filtering. To use the monitor filtering, you will need to disable magnet control. To disable magnet control on the MR400, open the ECG menu, find magnet control, and set to disable. The interoperability mode will be disabled. To disable magnet control on the MR200, Scroll and select the ECG menu, then scroll and select Magnet Control. Set Magnet Control to Disabled. With Magnet Control disabled, you can scroll through the monitor's ECG filters to determine which filter provides the best ECG signal. As mentioned, at the ECG training video on the MR400, Advanced 1 filter is a recommended filter for cardiac gating, followed by Advanced 2 filter. On the MR200, Cardiac filter in Lead 2 is the recommended filter, followed by Advanced filter. Note, if using a wireless connection gating with Canon, formerly Toshiba, or Fujifilm, formerly Hitachi, MRI systems, the monitor filters ECG. The most common sources of poor ECG gating are wrong electrode placement, patient movement, or wrong detection of the R wave. Proper patient skin preparation and correct lead placement will help to optimize ECG gating. Refer to the ECG training video or your monitor's instruction for use for further instruction on monitoring ECG. You may also refer to your monitor's instructions for use for further instruction on gating.